There are two main equations that are needed for ozone depletion. Both of them have the overall overall equation O3 plus O forms 2O2. This is ozone and this is what it reacts with and this is what it breaks down into. As is popularly popularly known, chlorofluorocarbons can break down the atmosphere which is the general formula which I've just shown. Um, this, this, this method requires a chlorine radical which is produced when this bond absorbs UV radiation and splits homolytically forming a chlorine radical. A chlorine radical breaks down ozone in two steps. Propagation step one, um, I should mention the previous stage was initiation, producing the radical. Um, the way this works is the chlorine radical reacts with an ozone molecule to produce a C, produce a chlorate radical and O2. This is going to be in our, on our overall equation. The next stage is that the, the next propagation stage is this the chlorate the chlorate radical reacts with with an, a molecule with an atom of oxygen to produce O2 and a chlorine radical. Now we can see that in both of these equations, the chlorine is starts off in this equation and it's reproduced at the end of this equation, which means that we can take this out, which means also we can take out this and this. Not that though. This and this, which means that our overall formula it has this as our... I'll do it in a different colour. Is this O3 in our reactants? And this O is in our reactants and it produces this O2. The fact that chlorine radicals are reproduced at the end of this equation means that, that one radical can go on to destroy many thousands of molecules of ozone, which is why it's so dangerous. Another radical that can destroy ozone is um, nitrogen oxide, nitrogen monoxide, which comes from lightning or aircraft engines. It's more or less the same procedure as the breakdown of ozone with chlorine radicals and it has the ov same overall equation but well, for the purpose of education and whatnot I'll write it down nitrous oxide um, nitrogen oxide um, radical reacts with O3 to produce, to produce a nitrogen dioxide radical and O2, which looks to be in our general equation. It also the NO2 radical reacts again with O3 with um, an atom of oxygen, forming the NO radical and O2, which is going to be in our final equation. So therefore, the overall again is O3 plus O can form O2, 2O2.